gosh. Am I crying? Oh no. It's currently day four in Merida. I just wanted to come on here and like kind of talk a little bit about why I probably like my vlog seems disjointed. I'm really struggling and it has nothing to do with Merida. It's just because of the fact that the night before I left Canada, my braces, the wire broke. Each time I talk, each time I breathe, each time I want to eat, like that's actually been the one that has been me the most, like me trying to eat and not being able to eat. I really wanted to do a lot of food tours and I really wanted to eat a lot, but like I'm not finding eating enjoyable right now. And it is the most frustrating thing because you know how much I love <laughs> I love food. Also, I don't know if I should share this, but I'm usually not a very, like, I'm a very body positive person. But before I left, somebody made a comment about my body that has kind of been, like, sticking to the back of my head. And um, I thought it wasn't bothering me, but it was bothering me more than I thought it was bothering me. And now it's affected my relationship. So I'm usually, like, this doesn't happen to me, so that's kind of, like, why I'm sharing this. I know it'll go away soon, but um, yeah, that, that like compounded with like here being in Merida. Um, oh my gosh, am I crying? Oh no, not on camera. Mm. Anyways, yeah, so that's that's kind of like where, where I've been and like it's been a bit frustrating because as much as I've loved Merida, I feel like I didn't do it so well. Oh crap. Yeah, let's just pretend that that didn't happen at all. Let's just do that. However, um, I do want to spend today just relaxing and focusing on the positives of Merida so far. Well, this is just voiceover Kimmy dropping in to tell you to not make negative comments about people's bodies, but also to remind you that food is there to be eaten. And it was eaten in this place called Pan and Coffee, which I loved. A bit pricey, but I really loved that coffin. Mmm, so good. Another brunch or breakfast place you should check out is Volta Cafe. I really love these coat hooks and the aesthetic of the place. It is also on the pricier side. However, this is horchata. That was an horchata ice latte cold brew with coconut and actual sliver of almonds in it. It was so creamy. It was so nutritious and filling. And there was a nuttiness that complemented everything. I also had the apple french toast and it was the softest, most pillowy thing I've ever had in my mouth. 10 out of 10. Y'all, I am struck by the realization that I can learn Spanish. Stick with me. I can actually learn Spanish. I just, I just realized like I am going to learn Spanish. I went to Volta Cafe. There was a little child and he was asking where the trash can was. And they couldn't understand because he was also a little kid. And I was like, Asura, because I remember the song. I can actually do this if I put my mind and my heart to it. I can learn Spanish and I am going to put my mind and my heart to it. I'm going to learn Spanish. I am going to do this. Future Kenny, you're going to learn Spanish. You are. Also, if you are looking for some rich little daddies, I'm talking chinos and boat shoes. Look no further than Volta Cafe. Chinos and boat shoes, guys. They were all giving rich, rich vibes and they were kind of cute. Don't say I didn't do anything for you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Bye. Y'all better be grateful that I'm actually here right now because this was a walk. This was a trek. It was like, oh, it's 20 minutes. I can do 20 minutes. I do 20 minutes all the time in Canada. 20 minutes in Merida is different than 20 minutes in Canada. And I fully, and sunburnt probably, I almost had a heat stroke, but it will be worth it because this menu is really good. It's a very cute place, it's a very nice place. I got the chili boot, I got the con cochinita, and I got the juego. Wait, did I get the juego con Zangino or? Whoever con nopal, I don't know. I got eggs and two tacos, and I'll probably get a torta to go because I physically cannot walk here anymore. And this menu looks wonderful. And as always, horchata. Okay, so this is the pork. Yeah, it's the pork. It's only pork. What is pork? Okay. Gracias. 
characters. And it's been true. So did you know that cochinita or pork is as to the Yucatanian Peninsula as pasta is maybe to Italy? It is one of their delicacy and when I tell you this was one of the best I ever tasted, most restaurants do serve pork because it is again part of their national dishes, but Yayan, oh when they did it, they did it well. Definitely worth the trek. <laughs> so come visit, I highly recommend. Um, Okay, this is one of those walk around and find out spots. I cannot tell you the address, but I know it is Tacaria La Benedicion, and it is right behind the St. Lucia Church, as you see behind. They only open after like 5.30 when it gets dark. But if you find it, do yourself a favor and order tacos pastor or the tacos asado with pineapple and order 10 because it is affordable. Make sure you get there early because it's also popular with locals as well as tourists. Best thing ever. Gorditas were my favorite thing to eat in all of Merida. They are basically fat arepas. I recommend the nopales or I recommend the pibil. Now the service here, not the best thing in the world. However, the food made up for it and it is one of the places that opens super late. Would you believe me if I told you all these starters were free? Well, that's what they were in La Chaya Maya. Now this place was packed to the brink. You do need a reservation and it's a bit on the pricier side, but it's 100% worth it. The pineapple chaya drink was very refreshing. Had a bit of a minty taste, but I really loved it. The beans were very nutritious as well. The chips were very fresh and flavorful. I was almost full on the starters that they provided. However, I did order, as you guessed, the pibil. It came sizzling and tender and with the freshest tortilla skin made by this lovely abuelita. <laughs> These bad boys are crossed between a waffle and a crepe. They're crunchy, they're savory, they're sweet. Get the Nutella with the cheese. Trust me, it just works. Some police people were chasing some hawkers. At some point, I actually had to run with them um, to get my marquesita. But trust me, you can go with whichever you want. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't even know with the names. Ah, that's true. Wow. That is really good and salty. Wow, I like it. Thank you. I only have two words, mango or coconut. It was giving from farm to table. It is pricey, but worth it. Oh, wow. That is good gelato. That is good. Mm -hmm. And it's so good in this heat. Well, that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. As always, remember to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do more food vlogs. I really, really love food. So it is 100% something I could do. I feel like I need to expand my vocabulary when talking about food. But let me know if it's something you like. Remember, bad body days are okay, but bad body trips and bad body travels. Mm -mm. Have a great day and I will see you next vlog. <laughs> Bye.